what is up gamers the red dragon here and we are back taking a look at dishonored so uh been looking forward to this expansion pack this is knife of dunwall and this is just going to be a continuation of where we left off so uh, we're gonna try to get through here and be a little stealthy so there's people on the bottom there's people right here on this uh little ledge right here in front but see that guy up top walking back and forth yeah just wait for him to pass and then we're going to go ahead and jump up top here and uh, just sneak around him. Head to the right. So as we go through this, one of the achievements, you can get a few different achievements, actually. Um, actually, by following this guy, we'll, we'll be able to do a few. This is going to be low chaos, though. We're going to see if we can continue to go through here and, and not kill anybody. And it's even better if we don't even have to choke anybody out. I think that's even more stealthy. This is the uh, veteran level, or the hardest that I could play on at this time. I think they, they've they got a, a new level that's even more difficult, but you have to beat the, the game before you can get it, so who knows what will happen after that. Maybe I'll go back through and do the high chaos uh, with the hardest level. That would be cool. Alright, so over here, um, we're going to go down the far left-hand side of the map and we've got a main entrance over there that you can see and in order to get in that main entrance we're gonna need a card we're gonna need a card so we're um we're trying to get a key card and again this is dishonored so the way I'm playing it not the way that you have to play it I'm just showing you one way to go through here and to beat this on low chaos and not kill anybody so if you're just following what I'm doing, uh, we've got a guy here. You just have to wait for him to stop talking. And this is kind of funny uh, because I'm going to jump into this cage. And if you go in there and you talk to them, they're like, hey, you know, if you get us out of here, then we'll give you a key card. So they've got a key card on them. So if they don't give it to you, all you got to do is freaking steal it like I just did right there. And uh, so I've got what I need. But... Yeah, I'll, I'll let them talk to me. I'll, I'll let them give their spill, and uh, they don't even know what I what I just did. So you can see that he said the, the real key card is in the break room across, so if you don't want to, you know, be mean, if you got morals, then feel free to go ahead and, and sneak across there and steal that one if you want. But either way, I'm trying to get this done as quickly and easily as possible. So uh, again, if you guys watched the last Dishonor one, you, you probably noticed that I like to, to follow a lot of the same paths, and that way I, I know where stuff is. I don't have to learn something or, or see somebody who surprisingly uh, new pop up. So I'm going to go back over here to where I just came from, and um, I like to stay up top, and so I'm going to just try to stay on the roofs and try to get over to this main entrance that I can get in. So like I said, this uh, this expansion pack, I've been waiting for a while. And a lot of people have been asking me, Dragon, you gonna you gonna do Dishonored, Dishonored? Yeah. I like this game. This is a really cool game. If you haven't picked this up yet, a lot of fun. And uh, if, you, if you haven't played it yet, you can go through here and you can kill everybody. Or you can... Uh, this is extreme the way we're playing it. We're playing completely stealthy if we can I don't know we're gonna find out though Rockwell's got a stubborn reputation I doubt asking nicely is going to work we'll have to find a more persuasive means of getting what you want out of him He's probably close so again in this room right here again this is dishonored there, there's so many ways you can play this you can go straight ahead and go down that tunnel and learn somebody and that guy freaked me out I didn't know why he didn't tell on me or why he doesn't look at me I, I don't know but either way what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually go up as high as we possibly can again like for some reason I always usually find that in this game just just getting up as high as you can or looking up will actually sa save you so much time a, a lot of times and um, th th this is so frustrating sometimes because you have to get it just in the right spot 
And if it's not in that perfect spot, it's not going to let you up. So I had to toy around with that forever. And I ended up following, so I'm just going to go ahead and warp this through. And the key to Dishonored and, and, and playing it like this, you know, and um, not getting caught and, and making this as easy as possible for you, hit the save button. I, I think on the PC it's like F5 or something. Because you can, you can save the game at any time. So if you get to a section and you haven't been killed, save your game. And then that way if something does happen or you get spotted, it's an easy reload and you can start back up where uh, wherever you left off. So as you can see, uh, once we got up here to the top, now we've got a little bit sneakier way of sneaking in and we can bypass all those people who are walking down below us. See this, th that's what I like. I like a game that gives you the ability to just freaking totally avoid everybody. Sometimes <laughs> I would like to do that in the real world. All right, so just jump across here and we're getting pretty close. Now, there is one section up here where, um, well, I'll show you. Here's the guy that we're looking for, this this Roth, Roth Wild. I kept on wanting to say Roth Child. So we're gonna use a sleeping dart, which again, isn't killing him, so that's okay. We don't get spotted. Shoot him in his jugular or something. And um, next, we're going to have to take him and place him in an interrogation chair. So this is uh, kind of sneaky. Be sure you, uh, you put your blink back on. And again, there's optional stories. There's optional things you can do. The things that I show you in, in these walkthroughs are primarily the main things to get you achievements and uh, the fastest way to, to get through the level. And it may not necessarily be the fastest. There's always, you know, somebody who's figured out a better way of doing it. But uh, this is just what I've figured out. So just be really careful because whenever you, you're holding a body and you're moving it, you, you tend to move a little bit slower. So uh, you're a bigger target too and you're slow. Just be careful. I, I saved at this point right here. Because a lot of times I'm bad about forgetting to save. And I'll I'll get so far and I'm like, crap, I forgot to save. It's really frustrating. It makes your life so much easier if you do. So uh, you can just warp over here. And uh, we are now going to get to interrogate this guy. And if you watched my last Dishonored playthrough, you know that... I don't show cutscenes, you know, uh, when people talk in game and stuff. I can't stop that. I can't cut that out. It's part of the game. But I, I cut out all the cutscenes. So you're going to sit there and you're going to interrogate him for a little while. And I do that because that way, whenever you get the game, you can enjoy it and enjoy the storyline and, and get your money's worth out of it. Uh, but here, I'm just hoping to show you gameplay because that's what I, I tend to focus on. I want to know how good the game mechanics are and... and how fun it is to play. So just be really careful. And again, there's two doors you could have went out of in that room. I decided to go this particular route. I tried to go the other route a few times and I kept on getting caught. Um, so I didn't do very well. But this route, I was able to make it through uh, quite a number of times. And again... There, there's no achievements this time around, I don't believe, for only using Blink. So, I mean, feel free to do whatever you want to. It's just, since I did the whole last campaign by only getting through by using Blink, I kind of wanted to try to see if I could uh, uh, do it this time. I'm one of those people who, you find something you like and then you end up staying with it for a long time. Sometimes that's a bad thing. You don't get to experience a lot of new experiences, but, you know, hell, I'll go to the Mexican restaurant and still order a cheeseburger and fries because they make freaking amazing cheeseburger and fries, and nobody believes me because they're always buying Mexican food at the Mexican restaurant. But I go there, I get a good cheeseburger and fries. It's freaking awesome. 
All right, so I had to wait on that for a little bit for the timing to uh, go ahead, sneak in. And if you warp behind somebody, don't start moving around, you know. Stay there, let your, um, what is that, your mana uh, fill back up. And a lot of people don't do that. They'll just keep on shooting off mana, 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 mana. I hope that's what it's called because I'm not redoing this commentary just because of that. But if 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 that's what you're doing, then you're really missing out because your stuff automatically rejuvenates if you just wait just a, a few seconds. You can watch that bar go back up. So again, two important gameplay facts um, to do, whether you're following exactly the footsteps that I'm going through or not, is one, hit save, and um, two, be patient. Y you have no idea how much patience plays a role in these games. And if you're just, if you just wait long enough and just watch and see where people are moving, if you're having trouble, um, patience is the key. I was trying to get on top of that building. Sometimes you have to get a little bit shorter before you can go longer. It's really deep if you start thinking about it. All right, so we are almost towards the end. Again, staying high as long as I possibly can. Gives you a bird's eye view. And uh, at least in this first level, I didn't see anybody on the roof who was going to uh, spot you out. So we're gonna actually use a new, uh, I guess, weapon in the DLC. I have to save this this person, so I'm going to use this choke dust, and it's non-lethal. You just throw it down, and it starts making them cough. So I'm going to do that to save this this person. I think their name's Billy. That's a but it's a chick, or at least it sounds like a chick. I'm worried they sent for the hounds. And she talks all seductive in her gas mask. It's just kinda weird. I'm not really not really into that, but whatever. So then uh after you meet her, I think it's a her. You just gotta follow. Be careful right here because uh you know you try to play it crazy and just jump down, you'll end up getting caught. Don't screw it up at the end. Be patient all the way through. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, if you want to see more, please click the like button. And uh, also subscribe and, and post, post this on forums or anywhere else where you see where people are, are looking for help. Post it on your Facebook, your Twitter. You know, if your friends have this game, you want a good walkthrough that's easy to follow, check it out. Stay tuned for more. I'll be posting them up as soon as, uh, as, soon as I get done. It's a pleasure to watch you work. Finishing them up. See y'all later. Thanks for watching.